We are back with animal behaviorist Karis Bryan, who over the past few weeks gave us some really cool tips and hints on how to teach your dogs brand new tricks. And she's back this morning with yet another awesome trick that I think actually requires a little bit of patience, if I'm not mistaken. Karis, how are you this morning? I'm good, you, you know, it cool. all takes patience. When Everything you work with patience. animals, patience is the first thing you need, always. All right, yes. cool. So introduce us to our little pup this morning. Well, this morning we have MJ with us. MJ is an eight-year-old pug. Yeah. And she's fantastic <laughs> because she's very well trained. And a lot of people with pugs don't bother training their dogs. And these dogs are so clever. They're very trainable if you put the time in. I was in. about they're to fantastic. ask you because you don't see pugs doing a lot of tricks. Mm, yeah, people people don't tend to bother or they think they're not clever for some yeah. reason. They're incredible. They're just as trainable as any dog. And MJ is a perfect example of that. Oh, there we go. If you have a pug, train it. Go to training school with your pug. <laughs> they love it. Awesome. Now, okay. You so, and a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about stay. Yeah. We got a lot of feedback from viewers. Some liked the way we did it. Some didn't. Some people were confused. Yeah. So I'm here now to show another stay technique that we have not showed on the show about how to teach your dogs to stay. Because right. it's something people want to teach their dogs. But it can be a tricky thing to yeah. begin if a dog is clueless. Exactly. Especially if you have a new dog as well. You know, never done a trick before. But the first thing exactly. I noticed, you have a very long leash. I have got a very long leash. So for this technique I'm going to show you, you need a long leash. You can either get a long line like this, which is an official animal long line. Yeah. You can also use a clothes line. You can use a bit of thin piece of rope. It doesn't matter. You just need a long of several yeah. meters of some sort of thin fabric. Okay, cool. Now, MJ, MJ. Now, MJ is tied up with her harness yes. to the long line. And then what I've done is I have looped the long line under a chair. Yes. Okay? So, MJ, come. Come here. <laughs> She's adorable. Sit down. <laughs> now, MJ knows how to stay, but I'm using her as my example dog. Okay. If you've got a dog you want to teach to stay, All right. once they know how to either sit or do a down, like MJ's doing, you take your long line, attach it to their collar yeah. or a harness, and loop it behind a chair or a fence post, anything solid, anything mm. heavier than your dog, and luckily the chair's heavier than MJ. Then you proceed to back up, stay. All right. Now, if MJ were to get up, yes. I can stop her. I can put the brakes on by pulling a yeah. little bit. But by her getting up, is that breaking the stay command? Correct. So it, when a dog is new to stay, they will tend, they'll follow you because that's what's, in, that's what's natural to a dog. So in the beginning, if I'm pretending MJ stay, I would work on backing up a little bit, All right. then coming back to the dog and reward them for having not yeah. moved. Good okay, girl. so take us through the procedure if you have a dog and you're teaching that dog, but he gets up as soon as you step away. Okay. What should your response be? So, so let's say if your dog will fake it with MJ here, let her chew. Okay, <laughs> so if I put my dog into a stay and then come, if the dog gets up, you pull them, stop with the lead. I see, okay? but you don't say anything. You like... don't say anything, just pull them to stop and then let it go slack again. Stay. And then if they hold still, if there's that little pause mm. where the, you, you want to look for the magic moment where the dog relaxes and waits, and then you come back and reward them with a little treat. Nice, all right. So, so how long should that pause period be? In the beginning, just a moment, a all second. Right. A breath. <laughs> a breath. <laughs> a, an eyelash. <laughs> a, a very short time. Yeah. And then you build on that time. So as you're working with your dog, if you're starting at about this distance, yeah. it's, it's helpful just to count in your mind. One two, three, until eventually you should be able to do 30 right. seconds or so. Without you, the leash as well. Without the leash as well. So you keep this, this is, think of this as training wheels on a bicycle. You don't use That's this it. lead forever. But if your dog is confused, and if every time you tell your dog to stay, they jump up to follow you, do this for a yeah. few times so you can create a situation where your dog can't get closer to you, yeah. and you're waiting with them, and then you can go back and reward the fact that they did not follow you. I see. And then the, you'll see a little light bulb goes on over the dog's head, and they go, Oh, you mean I must stay here, <laughs> not, not close to you. Yeah. And by rewarding it and giving the dog a treat while they have stayed there, they start to understand what it is you expect of them. When you teach a dog to stay, it's always important that you tell them when they're allowed to get up. Otherwise, they never know. So when I say, MJ, MJ's falling asleep. MJ, <laughs> MJ, break. When she I was say, deep in thought. <laughs> she's thinking, she's meditating, she's a monk, look at her. <laughs> when, when you say break, yeah. when I say break, that's, that's yeah. her cue to get up and right. she can now do so what she wants. So there needs to be a definite done command that Exactly. Is if they're without a definite done command, your dog will never understand stay. Perfect. Karis, okay. thank you very, very much. Oh, and MJ, you were just too, too cute. There yes. we go. So, of course, if you do have a pug, invest some time, train your pug, and you can also log on to expressoshow.com for some great hints and tips on how to train your dogs.